You can see the Grand Canyon from a lookout point on the north and south rims, but until you've uh, floated down the center of it, you really haven't seen the Grand Canyon. I don't know of a better way to see this, this creation than floating through the middle of it. My first trip down here was 35, 40 years ago, 1970. I had a neighbor, Jack Curry. He invited our whole family to come down. I had uh, my 10 siblings along, my parents. I was 18 years old. I was hooked. It was in my blood from that first trip on. Running the river is about the most spontaneous thing that you can do. You can run the same rapid 15 times and it's never the same. Yeah, every bend in the river changes, water levels change. When you come into big white water, you have every feeling. You have a little anxiety, a little tightness in the chest. There's just nothing like it. There's always a uniqueness to certain trips. And this week it was the little Colorado. We were floating a small section of uh, rapids in life jacket. And, uh, we got out of the river and came around a turn and there were these two fantastic sumo wrestlers on the beach. Maybe the first sumos ever to be filmed in the Grand Canyon. Like everything else, they were magnificent. Actually, uh, I found this my first trip down the Grand Canyon, and it had uh, John Wesley Powell's initials on it. To find out that the Powell Expedition had toothbrushes of this caliber was an amazing thing to me. Pretty tough to get right in against the waterfall, but the three brothers are going to try. I cannot recommend a better way to spend a week than what we've just done here in the Grand Canyon. There is not an activity that can, can bring you closer with family and friends. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> the only way to fold the tent is to get it between you and a beautiful woman and hug. <laughs> a person needs to just make a break from, from what we call civilization. And that's what you get here. Even if you wanted to try and use a cell phone, you can't. You're just in such a complete wilderness setting. I would just encourage people who want a unique experience in maybe one of the most beautiful places on the entire planet to just set a few days aside on a calendar and come out and see this, this creation. And yet it's been 30 something years since uh, I was able to come back and now to have my siblings and my family with me. I don't think you'll find a, an activity that brings a family closer together than floating the river. <laughs>